On the fourth play of the third quarter, one of the most memorable plays in all of Ohio State football was about to happen. Formation. Again, Phipps going back to throw. He has time. He throws. It's intercepted by Kobos, and he's going in for touchdown. Touchdown, Ohio. Kobos scores. The stadium erupted. The bench erupted. That was enough for us to win the football game. Kobos intercepted the pass on about the 30-yard line. Hurdles from the school when they got new ones, he got the old ones, and they sat around the lake, and he used to run around the lake, and he was just just loved sports and that's he was just I don't know I don't say it was born into him but he really acquired it and really got good at it. The thing that made Ted special is regardless of what he was doing I don't care about whether it was in sports or in the classroom he was a competitor and he always gave it his best and tried his hardest regardless of what it was and like a if we, if he and I would sit down right now to play a game at Tiddlywinks, he'd do everything to, he could to beat me. And that, that's, he still has, that, I'm sure, that competitive drive. And I think as a member of the Fairless community, uh, Ted has done uh, very well for himself and represented the Fairless community in just an outstanding way. And no one deserves the honor more than does Nabar's Ted Provost. It is said that every job is a portrait of the man who does it. Whether it's a portrait of his personal life as a loving father, husband, and son, a portrait of his professional career as a home builder, or a portrait of his athletic career. Ted Provost is a man who has painted his life's portraits from a palette filled with courage, love, dignity, drive, fairness, and success. While the recipient of both national and international acclaim and achievement, Ted maintains the soul of an honest, unassuming, grounded, quiet man who has ordered a life on what is really important. I'd also like to thank my wife. She, we've, uh, had, we've been married 18 years, but I'd like to tell a little story. Um, we were, we were, we'd gone out about three times uh, down in Columbus. We had met and gone out. And we were at a, I think it was a Super Bowl party or something. And uh, everybody kept coming up and asked me to congratulate me on the interception of Purdue game and all this stuff. And she turned to me and she says, who are you? <laughs> and I says, I'm just a guy with a burning desire to get to know you. <laughs> when my husband and I, Ted Provost, were first married, he had been in the Navy. And we got married in January after he came home for a couple months. And he told me that he said we may not be able to have any children. So we got married and he, and he also told me, he said, if we have any children, I would like my first son to be named after Ted R. Williams, who lived in California and he, they were in prison camp together. Uh, they were both legally blind and they both helped each other and he was one of my husband's best friends. So it was okay with me. Well, we, we had three children, so that didn't hold true that they couldn't have children. Uh, my first, our f first child was a girl. Well, that was Sandra Lee. Well, pretty soon I was pregnant on our second anniversary. I was pregnant again, and I thought, ooh, am I going to do this every year? Well, we named him, it was Teddy. He was born on July of 1948, and so we called him Ted R. Provost. Well, we had, my husband's name was Theodore, but we called him Ted also, so we had two Teds. So what we did, we called my husband was Ted, so we called our son Teddy. So he got Teddy ever since he still gets Teddy from me. I grew up here at 5705 Camry Avenue here in Navarre, but this is where my first memories of everything for my athletic career and my work habits and everything were formed here on the farm. We did a lot of chores and 
did a lot of uh, playing ball here in the backyard behind you here and uh, this is where I learned how to probably it's my work ethics and everything we ever developed right here. Time at Fairless High School I you know I had a lot of good friends and a lot of good uh, good times on the bas or basketball and the football field uh, even running track I uh, got to the state tournament on that and uh, uh, the coaching and the teaching uh, as I went on later on in life to college uh, was just as good as anybody else's I've ever been associated with. So, uh, from my experience here at Fairless and my home life, uh, I couldn't ask for anything better than this. In coaching, you try and take your best athlete and keep the ball in his hands as much as possible, and that's what I did with Ted. Made him a quarterback. He wasn't uh, maybe a natural quarterback, but we needed him with the football to make things happen for our team. And that's what he did, and he played uh, sophomore, junior, and senior year. And he was a great, great defensive back. And he could play defense and he could hit you. And uh, another thing about Ted, he not only was good in football, he was a good basketball player and uh, he ran track. We ran him and I was also the track coach and Ted would have been the first fearless uh, athlete to make the state track meet and he made it uh, in the uh, low hurdles and uh, he made it, uh, got to run in the, in the horseshoe at Columbus and he would have been the first athlete to represent uh, Fairless in a state track meet. Well, when Ted was in high school playing football, one of the things I remember is he was such a great athlete that the armchair coaches used to try to tell Ron Rankin, the coach, that Ted should be the quarterback, he should be a split end, he should be the running back, and Ron Rankin, the coach, said, Hey guys, he can only play one place at a time. Ted was such a great athlete in high school and he was such a very nice young man that everyone in school and the young people looked up to Ted. Uh, my recruitment to Ohio State started uh, my senior year in, in high school. Uh, it's probably the first uh, time I really was uh, considered for football. In the process was, uh, of course, you met Coach Hayes, uh, and uh, probably my recognition recognition of Coach Hayes is uh, 